like I promised, I'm going to do a video with my cross stitching. Um, these are projects I have yet to do. Um, I plan on doing them very soon. These are things that I've ordered and just haven't been able to do them yet. You know, with a lot of things going on. working on other little things as well, so. These are bookmark of the month, the bookmark for each month of the year. And my butterfly, I love butterflies. Now these are what I have completed. And let me know which one that you saw that you liked. And if you would like me to make it, if you don't know how, and you want me to make you one, just leave me a comment down below. And I will respond back to you rather quickly. I actually ran out of cloth on this one, but that's okay. I got the majority of it. And get your information. And I will let you know how long that it will take. In case you need it by a certain time for a certain reason. Now this one here, you can't see it, it says spring in my garden. And this was done with blending, um, did the blending DMC threads, which is pretty hard sometimes, at, some, at times it's pretty hard. But, and then this one is my, one of my bigger ones, spring is in the air. This is a spring tree. So, yeah, if you see something that you like, let me know. Trust me, I have. This is nothing. I haven't done all of the ones that I have. I have three binders full of patterns that I have yet to finish. I still have a bunch of monthly ones that I haven't done yet. And all of these ones here, these ones, these ones, these ones, and these ones, anything that has the month on it, I'm making into, I'm going to incorporate into a calendar. So, that's going to be pretty awesome. So yeah, you see April, then we go into October. I haven't made any in between those months. So, I apologize. And then, my little ghostie here. I actually did on the black 8 o'clock, so it stands out more on the black 8 o'clock. Than it does on the white. Can you tell which holiday or holidays I should say are my favorite? I did the same thing with the this fall. So these are the only ones that I can show you that I have completed. Now see these are a little bigger. 
This is my daughter's. She wanted me to make her this one. Now we're going to go into December. My larger ones I gave to, like I said in my other video, family and friends for holidays, special occasions, and things like that. These are really small. These you can make into pins. But. Yeah, this is my hobby, and I love to do it. To me, it's relaxing. So. It's been something I've been doing for a while. Since I was about, oh, 10 years old. So. But yeah, that is my cross-stitch collection. It is massive. And that's about it. So like I said, if you see anything that you like, if you don't know how to do it, uh, leave a comment below on which one that you like. Or, I mean, it could be multiple ones. And I will contact you, and I would be more than happy to make one for you. Uh, there are free patterns online. I will leave uh, the website link below in the description on where to get free patterns. They, these are called all-nighters, or one-nighters. Because they're so small and they take they don't take that long. These only took me a few hours for each one. So, they don't take that long. But, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments below. Subscribe. It would be appreciated. And make sure you hit that notification button so you don't miss any more future videos. And that will do it for this video. And that is my collection. I should have more to add on. Eventually. But I will be doing future videos on tutorials on how to make these. The items that you would need. So. Look forward to those. And that will be all for this video. Thank you guys.